It's a big day here in the Loving It on Keto with Wendy house because you guys, it's sardine day. Yes, indeed. Will she like it? Will she hate it? You guys come back. Yeah, because we're going to find we'll out. And we'll see. Am I anticipating it? Yes. Am I happy about it? Mm, no, not so much. But you guys come back and we'll absolutely share. Yes, indeed. Raw and unfiltered, though, so be prepared. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, all you new folks, and welcome back, everybody, to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy. The cameraman is Harry, and our little Chihuahua is the little Sally girl, little Sally Schnickerdoodle, but we call her Sally Girl Schnickerdoodle. My tongue is not working. No, today. not at all. I'm, it, it's tongue tying me. You need a, you need yes, tongue exercises. I need more. I need more coffee. Yes, I do. Lapping up the coffee. You're right. Anyway, you guys, it's a big day for me today. Stay tuned. So See? tell me why, Wendy. Why because is it a big day for you? Thirty cans. Of sardines here. 30. Yep. And Wendy's going to eat every one of them. No. No, 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 no. no. Oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but we're going to share a In can. In one sitting. We're, we're going to share a can every day. Now, thank you so much for the two people who told me to put the sardines in tuna and mix it up with mayonnaise and all the stuff. No, 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 Thank no. you for the person no, that no. told me to take the sardines and put mustard and ma mustard on them. Thank you for the person who said put some mayonnaise on that because I think I'm going to have to put something No, it's the, on you put these. the fork in the can, you pick it up and you put it in your mouth. That's what you do, dear. You know it. So we are going to share at least one can of sardines in a day. So today I need to make my bread because I promised Harry you could have his sardines on toast. So I'm going to make my buttermilk bread today. But you guys, I am going to break out my um, little red mixer from Arvita. And I'm going to share that with everybody because that I got a notice from Charlene. You guys, it's on sale going on sale and you get wonderful price for it so when I get it I'll explain the new sale for it because I love it it's a workhorse so many of you guys bought it but you guys Christmas is coming it's like right around the corner yes it is the minute the minute Halloween hits it's like Christmas right yeah you gotta start buying stuff you gotta start getting the gifts going so I want to share that with everybody when I make my bread today yeah I love so we're it. gonna be showing stuff that we find it's like yes, looks really cool we are gonna get some deals we're gonna for do you. that we're I've gonna... reached out to some of our um, companies like ace cool and asked them you know can we get a sale price can we get a coupon are there discounts going on that we can share with you guys because every penny right now yeah. that you save helps helps yeah you can buy more sardines oh yeah there you go <laughs> some of you guys said mackerel and yes you can get mackerel Mackerel's good store. too mackerel is good and in europe they eat a lot more sardines and mackerel with their breakfast with their eggs you know they put the salmon on um the bagels all of those things well that's we because they started out as a small fishing town yes they did that's you are absolutely correct and they still are but I was right. There are two things I am doing this month. Three, three, three things. Number one, I'm going to try sardines and I'm going to add some type of fish. Could be sardines. Harry is for sure. I, no, all I'm having is the sardines. Right. Number two. I'm not going to add anything to my sardines. Number two, we are adding sweet back into our life. Yeah. This morning, we, we, we made our sweet coffee for the first time. Harry's going to do his coffee segment and share that right here. Oh, and I forgot we did our morning numbers and I did mine less than a half an hour after I got up. I did mine at, no, less than an hour. So let's show oh. those first. Okay, let's show the numbers first right here. Hmm. 
It's finger pricking time. Yes, it is indeed, you guys. I'm proud of Harry, 96 and 0 0.6. You're getting your ketones back, dear. Yep. Wonder if it's the change we made yesterday, honey. Could be. Yeah, so, we're going to have to explain. I don't know if it just doesn't work. I don't know if it, maybe it works really well for some people and it doesn't for others, you know. What, the BBBE high yeah. fat or the 80-20 that we did for seven days yeah. that we're not doing anymore? Right. Yeah, we've got a lot of explaining to do what we did yesterday, that's for sure. I need to do your um, GKI. Zero point three. Well, not for me. I did my morning ablutions. Eight fifty eight. Eight fifty eight. So I haven't even been up a half an hour, you guys. Which is fine because I want some coffee. One oh one. It's not a bad if it's a dawn effect. You know? Today's 1028. You are in low level of GKI ketosis, Harry. You're at 8.8. .8. Woo woo. Yeah. Look at nice. that, you guys. Nice. Come on, have coffee now. Okay. It's coffee time. It's coffee time. Got to go get my coffee now, folks. See you guys in the next segment. Now, that's why I am doing the sardines something we did yesterday is we did a week of 80 20 adding a lot more fat into our food and neither one of us felt very good on it so i changed over to more of a one-to-one -one well, ratio well, even my blood went and wacko. his blood went down and his ketones came up another thing we did last night a lot of people are going to say you didn't do it long enough well that's up to them. Yeah, Whatever they might, want to do. It, it we could did, be true. We did. Could You're be right. True. But could when you don't feel good, sometimes you need to change it up. Look, so, I fight to feel better. That's, that's Harry was thing. hungry every single night oh on the 80-20. He really was. And protein was what he needed because last night, what we did not show you guys is we incorporated keto chow back into our life. Our third meal of the day or our dessert that we like to call it. It is a meal. Is we had peanut butter, chocolate. Keto chow ice cream. Yes, we did. It was heaven. It was heaven on earth. It was so delicious. It was so satisfying. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you who can't eat it, I totally understand. For those of you who cannot get it, I totally understand. But again, this is Harry in my life. This is what we eat. We can and do. So anyway, and there are those based that on that, and I begged Harry, he's still grumbly about it, so don't get mad at him. He does not want to show his weight, but he said today, after we wrestled verbally back and forth with it. Us? Never. Yes, that I get to show it because so many of you said it would be a shame if he didn't. And those are our loyal viewers. And speaking of loyal viewers. So that's why I went ahead and said okay for today. Have, yes. I want to do a special thank you. Harry and I both do for the generosity on your thank yous and your and your monetary gifts that you guys did yesterday because that's gonna help us buy our CGMs in November. I've talked with a company who said they will sell them to us for $175 each. And with this company, we don't need a doctor's prescription because everywhere we tried to buy one, they wouldn't let such us. as Costco Pharmacy, other pharmacies, they said, no, we cannot sell them. One place told us, and that was Walgreens, there's a shortage. You have to have a doctor's note. And usually it's for diabetics. And I understand yeah, those things. Fine. I do. You got to have enough um, for the people that really need do. them. You do. You have to have enough for the people that need them. And if there's a shortage because there's a supply chain is still broken, yes, it is. And things are taking longer from wherever wherever they're making that because we're not making it probably in the US. It's probably coming from India or China or over in Europe or somewhere in between, depending on the manufacturer. So I understand that. Um, I may purchase Harry's first and then mine second. I'm not sure. We'll see in November, but I just touched bases. No, with no, the I want you to go first. No, honey, you need it more than I do because of but your just, Come on, come on. But anyway, we'll talk about it off camera, but you guys, how did we do yesterday? We added back keto chow. Yes, we did. I dropped our fat, raised our protein, and I'll explain that right now because I think you guys need to see what we did food-wise first um, before I share. So, before I share our weight. 147, 
I my calories are going to be about 1383 minimum to 1477 my total carbs were 17 okay but that's adding keto chow and I'll show the net carbs protein was 117 and I'm trying to get at least 122 sorry my hand is shaking it always does my fat was 103 so in my carb manager in my carb manager under settings under macros calculator I figured my total carbs is going to be 10 grams. My total protein is going to be 122 grams. My total fat is going to be 95 grams. Now, I am, <clears throat> my total lean body mass weight calculates at 122 grams. So that is what I am eating. I want to keep my fat at 100 grams or less, and I want to keep my total carbs, total carbs at 10 or less. So I've set that up predetermined, and that's going to be my, my indicator of what I've set up versus what my actual number is, which is 1,477. And I've, I've populated everything that I had yesterday. I had organic MCT oil, I had um, keto chow. I had Kirkland Signature Bacon Crumbles, Chosen Food Mayonnaise Avocado. Oh, I populated today and it put this in by mistake, so I've got to take it out. When you're populating, you have to be careful because if you're in the wrong date, it populates it automatically. And if I'm doing it at 12 midnight and I don't realize the clock moves, it automatically moves to the following Oh, I had that problem with the yeah, so uploads. We had uh, ribeye chuck steak boneless. And then our dinner was keto chow, chocolate peanut butter, and Anthony's butter powder in it. So that's where I came up with that. Harry's is, I did his last night too, late, because you were using your phone to offload stuff. I redid his numbers at 1797, and his actual was 1776. Total carbs were 21. Protein was 123. Fat was 132. So that's what we both had last night incorporating, oh, keto chow. It was delicious. I loved it. And Harry said, as long as people are kind about the weight, he will allow me to do it, but he will be judging that on comments. So we'll see. I went down one and two tenths pounds. I went down to 183.6. Harry dropped two tenths of a pound right there he's so he's got less than 10 pounds to go to his all-time weight again I still have to get down to my all two time which is really weight. good because actually the day before you went down a pound yes I did that, I went down before I I'm losing that water weight that yeah we gained. right exactly um so I'm not calling that a weight loss but I'm calling it that we are going down because it's it's water yeah, and we all know it's water but it's good to see the scale move. And we felt better and fuller yesterday, raising our protein, lowering the fat. You have to adjust one from really the other. Good. And we both slept really, really good. I slept good last night. So that is absolutely awesome. Larry, <laughs> first thing he did you last night. You have the espresso. You guys at midnight, 12.01, he went in, put his um, <laughs> Waterloo flavored stuff in it. there. He put his ice in here. Yep, I got my ice back. I got my Waterloo back. And I've got. Which I had. I had some Waterloo last night. I have frozen chicken wings that I'm making tonight. So, you guys. Yeah. So, that's what we're doing. But the main thing we're doing in November, more than a challenge or protocols, we're trying to add fish, omega-3s, because all that I have read and all of the doctors I have watched and all of the bodybuilders that are out there that are keto, like Bronson and <clears throat> several others, add sardines. It's a huge thing. Um, so I've decided we're going to add some kind of fish. Hopefully I like sardines. Or I can add a sardine to my You're tuna. going to love them. I'm going to love them, Harry said. These sardines, these particular ones, you guys, are skinless and boneless. 
Yes, the little heads and the yeah, little she's chicken. and the little skeletons and the little skins are wonderful if you can stomach them. But when I get salmon at a restaurant, I know underneath the bottom of my salmon there's a piece of skin. It's not going in my mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I fished all my life with my dad. My dad was an avid fisherman and I miss that more than anything because my dad and I would, in Washington state, you could go to a lake. There yeah, were lakes. All over the place. Five minutes. I mean, we could walk to a lake and go fishing. Uh -huh. And he had a little electric motor boat. And towards the end, I would row it and my dad would fish and we'd fish for bass and we'd do all kinds of stuff. And we'd go looking for lakes. Um, that was something special for me. In California growing up, we'd go on the half day deep sea fishing boat. We'd go down to Seal Beach, Huntington yeah, Beach Huntington to the Beach. pier and fish. I'll never forget my little sister, Jill, who lives in Colombia, Santa Marta, Colombia. Uh, Lori and I had our fishing poles, you know, out at the end of the pier. And Jill came along and picked up my sister's pole and went, she saw us casting our poles. She picked it up and went, woo, and threw the whole pole and oh all gosh. into the ocean. And my dad's like, no. <laughs> right? Yeah. And for could, any of you men, I think you guys can I agree. I could see Johnny. When you have four women, my mom and my three sisters, where you're lining up the poles, you're doing the hook, you're doing the tackle, you're doing the oh, weight. Oh, he did it all. You're doing all of that because I'm talking, she was like three years old. We're, we, we've been fishing since I can remember. Or we go up to Lake Arrowhead and go on a rowboat. If the first thing, it was like every single one of you need to go to the bathroom first. Yeah. Because when we get in that boat, we're not coming back till I get to fish. Right. He would tell us. Mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> he would get our poles lined up. And then, you know, he taught us how to bait our pole. He taught us how to tackle. He taught us how to do that. And he would get his pole in and somebody would get hooked on a, a, a piece of wood. There were so many lakes in Washington that had hidden wood, hidden roots, hidden pine trees underneath the water. And he would be working his mudski boo off trying to fish at the same time. So we became pretty self-sufficient to the point where we'd go camping every year. And um, in the summertime, the uh, streams would dry up, but there would be pockets, deep pockets, where the trout would gather, where the water still was. And my mom and I got so good at wading in and catching the fish and throwing them onto the bank. Yes, I know that's illegal. Mm -mm -mm. So if you're a ranger, don't come after me. But we'd find one or two trout, rainbow trout, about this big because they were the last trout under the rock and we'd scare them out, corner them and chuck them out or grab them. <laughs> I grabbed one fish with a milk carton. I all weekend long, I had this one hole and I knew there was a fish in there and the fish and I were, I was not gonna leave. And Sunday morning I went and I caught that thing and scooped it up with a milk carton. My dad had, my dad was so happy he had trout and eggs that morning. Anyway, I digress you guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm fish stories, stories. You want a story? Just ask me because I probably have one. But anyway, well, it's hard fish. to get her to just be quiet. Yes, so. it does. It is. Yeah. It is. But I'm excited. That's why these videos are so long. I'm very nervous because I never liked head fish with heads and fins. And my sister would sit across from me with the tail of the fish in her mouth. Lori, <laughs> Lori, Lori will eat anything. Yeah. I got stories about Lori trying bugs and yeah, other things. So you guys. Oh, she'd get into the new she way would, of, uh, she of, would, yeah, she did. would, she would do that and wave it in my face. And so that turned me off to fish for a while when I was a child. Nothing more tastier than a good cried cricket. Well, she liked the crunchy. My mom had used cornmeal, you know, and fry it up in bacon grease Ugh. on an open campfire stove in our, in our, um, my cast iron skillet with some eggs for my dad and Lori, and I'd be sitting there going, eating my eggs over here, right? But I love fish now, but I just, I can't, like I said, if, 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 if the heads and stuff are there. So these sardines, ladies and gentlemen, if you've never tried them, hopefully they're very benign looking, very little, very little pieces of meat. Well, I could tell you what they look like right no, now. No, don't you dare, don't, don't. So you guys come back, because I'm gonna try these. Yes, I am in front of the camera, good, bad, and the ugly. 
It may get graphic, I don't know. So you guys stay tuned for the sardine segment. When he tries sardines. Yes, indeed. Yep. Well, it's coffee time. Yeah, I'm up early too after going to bed. I don't know what time I went to bed, doesn't matter. It's 10 o'clock. So anyways, we're gonna do some coffee this morning and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make this coffee and I'm gonna be using the um, perver uh, perversion. <laughs> it's Peruvian. Uh, Peruvian, yeah, Wendy's videotaping me. I can't see it, hold still. Yeah. Peruvian organic. Right. You're not supposed to move the camera. Well, I was trying to read the writing. I can't through the camera because the light is hitting it. Oh, well, tell me it's turn white. How does that sound? that better? Can you see it now? Sure. All right. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> that's what we're using. So I went ahead and already put stuff in my coffee and the thing. So I'm going to go ahead and pour you this You put coffee. grounds in your little the coffee decanter. In, go ahead and start filling this up. Now, come in closer so I can see it. So you can see I'm kind of, I fill this thing right up to the brim just like that. And then I let it go because... You want the coffee to actually brew in the hot water, you know, while it's, you know, dripping while through. It's dripping the through. Yeah, because it has some time to sit in the hot water and brew the coffee a little bit, see? And I've also i I've also noticed if it's if you, if sometimes your screens will get clogged and it won't go down. So I'll take this thing, stand back a little bit. What thing? This your is whipper? this is the uh, yeah, the whipper dipper. I don't know what the heck it's really called. I just know what Wendy calls it. It calls it a whipper dipper. It's my whipper dipper. And you, and I stick it in here. If I but I'll let the coffee sit here and brew a little bit, and I'll just give it a couple of whips like this. And look what happens. Go down below so they can see what's going on. See how it starts to come through a little bit. The only problem with this is you're not getting a strong coffee when you do that. When you do that, but if they get clogged like let's say you're using the grounds twice because it'll do this if you're trying to use the grounds twice because some of this coffee is pretty pretty heavy coffee and uh, Over here. so I'll do that then I pour around the corners to try to clean off the corners a little bit and you just continue to let it grip drip now I fill this thing up all the way well, that's for two of our top. cups. Because it's two of us. So, and these little cups, these are like, I don't know what the cup, what, what are these supposed to be? These? Well, it's 800 I mean, CC's come on. Though. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, if you were to actually have that size cup, you're having like a little teacup or you're something. You're having a real old-fashioned mm -hmm. coffee cup. Right. Not a mug. Right. And not certainly a humongo-sized mug like these guys are right here. Now, real coffee people are going to say, don't do that. But if you're in a hurry and you want to have your coffee, you know, you don't want to wait all day. Well, don't do it anymore, Harry. Let it go through because you know, I want to taste this, it. This is the best way to go. Especially if you're like mixing coffees. Sometimes I'll mix a coffee because I like, there's a couple of coffees that I not, but I'm not talking about these that uh, I like to mix. And I'll, well, I'll actually you, mix them like that. You've had some pretty hairy yeah, I've had some wild coffee. experiences. Some well, of I used, the... to, used to drink what we used to call in the army one bean, one bean coffee, and then we used to say that you used to tie a bean on the end of a string and dump it, dunk it in hot water because sometimes <laughs> that's how the coffee was. There was no or mud. Yeah, you'd you have know, mud. That kind of thing, right? You'd reuse the grinds until it looked yeah. like tea. So I, I have been in the, I, I have because of that we didn't have a whole lot of coffee. Grab what we could get. That I'm actually, I still make my coffee like that sometimes, man. I'll I'll uh, use the same coffee grinds like once or twice, yeah. Because sometimes if it's a really strong coffee, it's actually better the second. If it's too spot. strong for me, some of the coffees yeah. you've had. But flavor, flavor. Sometimes the flavor is better yeah. the second time you use those those grinds. I know a lot of people are going, "What? What are you doing?" Yeah. But you know, that's just comes from me being in the service, so. Anyways, there you go. So I'm going to turn this over to Wendy so she can, because she makes this coffee for us. And I haven't had this in so long. I'm so happy right now because I get to have it. Um, uh, we call it a sweet coffee, morning sweet coffee. And uh, yeah. Okay, Wendy. 
Harry has made some very strong coffees in his coffee break time and I have had to come and actually I do like it better with water going through the grounds after he's done his because it is less strong, less bitter, less acidic for me. But the Memento Cafe coffee is so smooth, so rich, yeah. non-acid, no yeah. bitterness, no burnt taste because those are the three things I don't like about coffee. And that's, that's the one reason why when I would go to Starbucks, I would get an <clears throat> Americano because it didn't have the burnt taste. I do like their Christmas blend. The Starbucks was the one thing that I did like, but I was a Seattle's best coffee in, in, in uh, Washington State when we lived there 20 years ago or 20 years. Um, I was more that than Starbucks when I went to Starbucks, of course. Way back when, I'm not trying to trigger anybody, but the pumpkin spice latte. Oh yeah, that was, was I my, did like that. It was my thing. But yes, I like I like their coffee uh, cold. But you can do keto-fied uh, pumpkin spice latte. So anyway, you guys, we're gonna get this started. But you guys, I'm so excited. I'm like Carrie. I'm like a little kid. Ooh, today. It's like Christmas morning. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. I get to use my better. Don't all people get excited? <laughs> For their coffee. Yeah, in, English in weird coffee. Ways, yeah. Yes, we do. And don't use the old word with me. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's, um, my, it's my second childhood. People that have been lying I'm a little in my while second longer. No, I'm in my second childhood. Oh, I am too. And you certainly are, bad. mister. You certainly this are. Is bad. You and Marty, man. Mischief makers all around. Anyway, I'm using better Stevie English coffee. Now, here's what I'm doing. We haven't had sweet coffee for six weeks. And we were up to adding 10 drops along with everything else I'm gonna show you. So I'm only gonna add three because our taste buds should have become more sensitive because I think you desensitize yourself to sweets. You keep adding more and more. At least I think I found that with Harry and I. I don't know if you guys are longtime viewers or not, but you guys, I used to add skinny syrups and better stevia and the products I'm going to show you now to my coffee to the point where I was adding one or two tablespoons plus drops. I weaned myself off of skinny syrup two years ago now when yeah. I when when the lockdown and they're occurred all still sitting and in the back back we have there. some in the back what I've shared with everybody when I showed everybody my pantry. So I'm going to add three drops to each of ours while we're waiting for the coffee. So come on Harry come on over here. Three drops. And now, this you guys, is, I have it. got... I'm so excited, I can't stop checking. <laughs> I have got my MCT oil powder. The cinnamon toast is our favorite right now. And I've got the cinnamon toast uh, keto collagen. Now, I only add half a scoop of the collagen because we like having more than one... Coffee. Coffee. And we want to have the sweet coffee. At least I like two big, this size mugs. This size mugs, at least, coffee yeah. in the morning. Mine's Hocus Pocus, Harry's Trick or Treat. Yes, he is. And then I'm gonna add probably about, a well, let me see. Is it about a half? Yeah. About a half of a scoop of the MCT oil powder. Now we are taking one tablespoon MCT oil before we got started with this uh, because we're trying to raise our ketones and C8 and C10 are the ones that we are eating and I'll share that in a minute but Harry gets and I get half it's about half a third to a half one yes, thing I indeed. wanted to say about this stuff is that with MCT, MCT oil, mm -hmm. you have to gradually work yourself Yes, up. you do, or you will have diarrhea. You will have, yeah. So no, plain you, you know, and I want to just work with just enough to get a little bit of a flavor and a taste, and then add a little bit, of maybe once every four or five days, a little bit more and a little bit more, because uh, believe me, if you have the whole thing like what we're having right now, you'll be probably visiting the restroom quite a bit. The Peruvian organic, and it looks like Cajamora, I don't, or Morca. I can't read her writing on the bottom, and that's my fault. She has beautiful handwriting, Alex does. It's organic. It's organic. Canica, or it's like that. certified by where food comes from. It's their organic blend. That's the name of the company, by the way, where food comes from. No, is the, it? It, where food, 
sorry, my tongue was tied. Where food comes from is the organic certification company yeah, that's what that I certified said. it. That's what Your, I just said. Well, Momento Coffee. Momento Cafe. My tongue's not working today. Momento Cafe. Yeah, well, this is your segment, not mine. Well, hurry up. Co Momento Cafe. I want to have this. Okay, and okay, you're, okay. You're screwing okay, around. Okay. Let's go. We always have a cup to the side. This is one of Harry's favorite. We got this in Tombstone. Outlaws are well hung. Yes, indeed. With the little rope, because they are they are hung by a noose rope around the neck yeah we, we get it okay i just i'm just i'm just so keeping i bought this, it i'm just keeping this um g-rated yes yep. indeed okay so you take your coffee you take your little whipper dipper you put it in and you go to town and if you're using butter still you know if you guys are using put your butter, butter in put before right you in. whip it yeah before you whip it because uh it melts it down it gets it oh really, really yeah it, it tastes great with butter in it. oh yeah mm -hmm. and powdered butter really works better than heavy cream to me and you get less calories for more flavor yep. so but i just wanted to add this back i just want my sweetness back in my life because you guys for me for me Sweetness in my life keeps me oh, it does. from going off the rails. Now, for other people, you can't do it. And that's fine. If you can't do it, don't. don't. So, I always... Now, here I'm going with my second brew. I come back after I drank half my coffee and put half more to make it... I guess dilute this halfway, drink it halfway. I gulp my coffee in the beginning. Yeah, I'm too. a gulper. Are you guys a gulper? Yeah, Harry? me too. Just because I used to have to drink it really quick. Come on over here, Harry. I want you to grab your coffee. Okay, you guys, smell it. I smell cinnamon toast. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I know. Doesn't that... You guys, this is your coffee aromatherapy time. Okay, are you going to try it? Oh. Oh. Oh, I missed you. That is so good. Yeah. Back up a little bit, Winnie. Oh, back, back up, up, back yeah, up. I'm back sorry. Up. I have missed you, Mr. Coffee. Cinnamon toast and everything oh. nice. English toffee. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is good coffee. Oh, yeah. Well, Ooh. it's the, you know, she, she makes good coffee. Like, <sighs> yeah. mm. Well, that's it. I've been waiting for this, you guys, for six weeks now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, it's coffee time. Yep. Yes, Cheers. Indeed. Bye. Bye. Yeah, it does. Some Same. Some cup. Yeah. Hey, you guys, something else I discussed yesterday that I am incorporating again um, and starting this month is I am going to join a gym. And I have been looking at a lot of the natural bodybuilders and ketogenic uh, people such as Bronson. And I was uh, very impressed with the information that he has to say. The savages are awesome. There are so many, Sykes is awesome. There's so many people out there in the ketogenic and carnivore world that have a lot of good things to say. Because of competing and all of the things they are doing and being a carnivore, ketovore, um, you know, um, Smelly Bell, all those guys. Um, I was watching uh, Bronson on too much fat and he goes into do you want to lose weight are you looking to build muscle do you need more protein versus fat how to figure all of that out and i found out he had a book so i ordered the ultimate keto fitness book it's a complete guide to optimizing keto for a better quality of life and the forward is by dr ken berry and um it's very interesting because he is a natural bodybuilder and um, I really like the information that he talks about. I am never going to be a bodybuilder, let's face it, no, guys. No, don't, guys, worry, don't, don't worry. We're not going to become this workout show. Um. I had... <laughs> he's going, no. no. He's, he's a, you guys missed his face because she's like, no, I'm not going to be a... He's not going to be the bodybuilder. No, I'm sorry. That is I'm not, not going to happen. I'm not 25 anymore. It's not going to happen. Not gonna but... Be. Did all that, been there, done no more. Harry has, and when I met him, you guys, he had the, ooh, he had the muscles. Because when he was a foam, he was constantly crimping and cutting wires and lines, and he had the muscles. Ooh, Cables, yeah, yeah. He did. But 
I digress. Sorry, sorry. Just reminiscing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, those days are gone. Harry has osteoporosis. I just got my DEXA uh, bone density scan test results and the first time in my life I have osteopenia. I need to build strong bones and muscles. One thing all of you folks need to be doing is the one thing that happens as you get older is we are afraid. We are afraid of falling. Why is that? You've seen every commercial about it because I can't, I have fallen and I cannot get up. You need to start getting on the floor, even if you have a chair in front of you, the couch in front of you, if you have to crawl to get out oh, and Oh, you up, gotta do that every day. You need to start getting on the floor and getting up. That's one thing Wendy and I have always you done. You need to, to do, do that. that. I, I cannot stress that enough because if you don't, you are gonna fall and you're not gonna be able to get up. Now, I know there are people out there that have you know issues, big issues, um, and, and are, uh, immobile they can't move and do things but if you are in a chair and that's where you need to be start working your arms out start getting strong even if it's grabbing water bottles full of water and using them you guys because it's so important as we get older our I've noticed it so much in my mom since she fell her deterioration and her size she's shrinking all over and she's not able to eat and i know that as you get older our muscles atrophy quicker they we cannibalize it quicker we're doing more things to our body quicker as we age it's like that part speeds up our brains slow down our body starts doing things that we don't want to happen to it so i'm not i'm doing this for harry and i I'm doing it for me. I want to start working out. You guys know I've become, we've become cauliflower potatoes on the couch. And so I am going to the Y today. I'm going to take my, I got my silver sneakers ID. I'm going to go and check it out. See if that's for me. Um, you can do Planet Fitness. You can do that. There's another one um, in the area that it does. I'm going to go see what looks best, that would work best for me. And there's a lot of factors. I'm just to that. going to lift weights. That's all. I'm yes, do. and that's fine. Lifting weights, Cause, cause not hip, cardio, um, not cardio. It's the weight resistance training that we need to be doing at our age. Okay, and that's anything. Sitting in a chair and doing some resistant training, lifting things, pulling things, pushing things. You know, doing all the things that you can do from where you're at today. Three minutes a day. If it's mo, if you if you're immobile, you can't move, you can't ambulate, you can't walk, then sit down. If you have a pool and you can do it in a pool, because the resistance, your weight is totally different in a pool, then do it in a pool. But you guys, we need to get up and we need to be moving. But more than cardio, we need resistance training. So I did get this book. I'm reading it. This is where I'm at, and I'll let you know what I gleaned from it. Um, I like sharing something with people when I find that it has value for Harry and I. I really do. So I think that this is a great book. It's Bronson delivers a detailed yet easy to read and understand comprehensive guide breaking down the importance of muscle, goal setting, the truth about fat loss, nutrition, and achieving true fitness for those desiring to live their lives to the fullest. Healthy, strong, and vital. The average person to the more fitness-minded will find this book very beneficial. It's on the back. So Coach Bronson is the book that I am reading right now. Just sharing. And we'll put a link in the description down below. Just there? You guys can go to Amazon and get it. That's where I bought mine. I am not affiliated. I, I don't, I've never met the man. But I've been binge-watching his videos as well as other doctors. Um, Dr. Boss, etc. I got her continuum books. I got her workbook. I have her other book that she wrote that was dealing with her mom and having cancer. And I just love reading all these books and having them as a quick resource. So I just wanted to share that to everybody, but I have something else to share. You guys, I am so excited because Charlene, my contact at Ace Cool, reached out to me because 
um, Black Friday's coming up. Everybody is coming and uh, getting ready to buy gifts and stuff for Christmas. And my little workhorse, my little Ace Cool Mixer, which I absolutely adore. I have her out in Arvita right now. I've shared videos of me making breads out in Arvita using the mixer, and I'll link one at the end so you can go see that one. I think it was peanut butter bread that I made out there, but here's the scoop that she sent to me. You guys, they have 50 red ones in stock right now. They are giving us a $50 coupon. So when you go to Amazon, there's a little thing that says click the coupon, right? Um, the, mech, the, the red mixer, the final price, once you click the coupon, is $69.99. That's the lowest price ever. There's only 50 of the red ones to go around. So after they're gone, they're gone. Now, the black and silver color stand mixer, you get the $50 coupon, but they are $79.99 for the silver or the black. And we're going to leave the 50% coupon code on the product page and we're going to give you the link to Amazon in the description below and it's going to say Ace Cool Mixer because you guys these make great gifts. Gosh that's like wedding gifts, anniversary gifts, Christmas gifts. What do they go for normally? Yeah $130 yeah, or so. So wow that's quite so a knockoff you guys you for guys Christmas know. gifts. Yes I'm going to um, the folks that have sent us product uh, equipment, mixers, kitchen things that we have used in the past and saying, hey, when are you guys having a sale? Do you guys have a code? You know, is that something I can share with everybody? Because I want you guys to get the best deal possible. And if you're looking for a mixer, I love this mixer. I mean, come I on, for, what is it, 60 what? $69.99, 70 bucks. Oh, that's and ridiculous. you guys, if you have an RV or you have, an, you know, an RV and the cupboard space, what I like about this is yeah. it's, it's square, thin, it's thin, yeah, it's more box-like. Really as easy. much as I love my KitchenAid, it has to stay here on the counter. For one thing, it's heavy. Yes, it is. Yes, Ace Cool is a lighter weight. I can lift it. You know, it's got the stand at the bottom, it's got the suction cups at the bottom, but I also like this because if you make egg white protein bread, you know you need a dip, deeper bowl. This bowl is deeper than my KitchenAid yeah. bowl. You have to get down into the bottom to make sure you've mixed everything because it is so deep. I like it because this one lifts up. My kitchen maid doesn't. The, the stand is stationary and goes up and down for those of you who see me use it. So I really like this feature. I like when you turn it on, the button lights up so you know that it's on. Yes, it's made with lighter weight material. Yes, there is some plastic on some of the things. I love the fact that this has this extra guard right here that keeps the egg whites from going up into here because I'm constantly cleaning this off on, that one. on my KitchenAid big time because it splashes way up into here and you don't realize it so you're having to wipe that off. Now I'm not saying it's not it's not going to have a few pieces because it whips, you know, it does what it does. But it, I have had this for over a year now, right? Yeah. And I used it every day for months when I was making the protein sparing modified fast bread the old way, the long way, with the raw egg whites and all of that stuff for a long time and I have continued to use it and I love it. It has never let me down. I absolutely love it. So if you are tight on the budget but you need a mixer and you can't afford the big heavy duty ones that are hundreds of dollars, I suggest you get one for $69.99 yeah, while you can. Nuts. And of course, red, I, I'm prejudiced. Red is my favorite, but they have silver and black. It's $10 more. So it's a cup of coffee at Starbucks, basically, or two, to upgrade to the black and the silver. But the red is limited. And I love my red. Yes, I do. So I just wanted to share that with everybody because I thought that was awesome of Ace Cool to come to us and say, hey, look, we've got these in stock. This is how many we have. Let your people know. They can go buy them if they want them. So anyway, you guys, I got to get all, I had to move the sardines over because we're getting to that, but I got to make some uh, buttermilk bread 
so we can have toast so I have something to put my sardines on. Yes, indeed. So that's what I'm doing right now. So you guys come back in the next segment when I make my buttermilk bread version. Which one is this? Version 2.0. Yes, indeed. Version 2.0. Okay, you guys, see you in the next segment when we make bread together. You guys, it's time. It's sardine time. Yes, it's sardine time. This is the moment of truth you have all been waiting for that I have been anticipating, not in a good way. No. Anyway, here it is. Got my bread done. Harry said that I have to try the sardines plain before I can get fancy schmancy and have some on toast. That's right, you gotta eat it right out of can. Yeah, he says I gotta be army style. Whatever that means. Ha! Oh, sitting on a rock out in the middle of nowhere, eating a can of sardines, I suppose. Pretty much. You know, I had a captain, uh, one captain I had wouldn't let us eat anything out of a can that smelled. Why? Because he was freaky about that the, uh, uh, the con or anybody could smell. Well, they probably could. Smell it, and they know it's an American. So, I was like, okay, come on. What I best like about this is, you guys, the long shelf life. This is good until April 21, 2027. Hopefully by 2027, all of the- Things will be right once again. With gas the issues, mm. delivery lag, um, uh, uh, point of delivery issues, manufacturing issues will have been resolved. And we are calm and we can, we're doing fine. And if not, these probably can stay a little longer in the can than 2027. I'm just saying, I don't know, I can't predict the future, but today is the day I open these things yes. up. Now in the old days, you they like used to, to have it? a little key. They used to have a little yeah. lip and a key and you have to wind them, unwind them in the can, yeah, and pull the lid and all that good stuff off. One thing I'm worried about is that it's gonna be too salty, but I heard these ones aren't. So let me get a fork. <sighs> Deep breath, let me get a fork. You guys, Harry's gleeful over this. I'm loving this right now. He is now. loving this right I'm now. I'm loving this. You for... guys don't get to see his face. He's loving this. <sighs> He's loving this. Man, I tell you, I gotta find something. You know, I got a piece of bread. Put, put your glasses no, on. No, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a piece of bread on my, on my, on my, on my, on my, on my, I'm stalling. Yeah, come on, let's go. You want me to open it? Sure. No, uh, 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 I, I got, if I'm going to eat them, i got to be able to no, open no. the can. Yeah, I know, but you need to put it straight on the ground. On the ground. Right there on the thing and hold it down tight. Straight so on the ground against the it, rock. Yeah, on the rock. Put it on the rock and then pull it up with the other hand so you don't spread it everywhere. Oh, because it's got oil in it. That's oh, right. Okay, come over here. Come over here. Let's see if you can here. even do this. Without getting oil. I don't want fish oil on myself. Big hands all over the place. Oh, Harry, I'm not going to be able to do this. Here, let me do it. I'm afraid. Here, give, come here. Take this. Got it? Yes, you've opened many a can. Oh, okay. They don't look bad. No, I they told you. Nine. They look I don't see fish in there. I just see little strips of meat. Right. This is the part where it will splatter everywhere. Okay, well, you can just leave them like that, can't yeah. you? Yeah, I just yeah, usually that's just fine. left them like that. That's fine. That way I wouldn't be wearing well, let's, it. Let's take a tour of the can. Wait a minute. This actually has less of a smell than tuna. Right. When you open a can of tuna, I don't like tuna smell. I wash with soap and water the can, the lid, and everything else that I have tuna fish with. Okay, okay. that's pretty good. Got yourself a fork? Got a fork. No, move slowly. Why? So we can follow you. Well, okay. oh, there's a piece. Yeah, that's a good one. Is that Let's a good take one? Take the whole thing. Okay. Okay, so let's get up here to... All right, so she's gonna pick up the whole thing. Okay, I hope she doesn't wind up wearing it. All right. If I spit, you better be out of the way. 
You're not gonna spit. Close your eyes. You're gonna like this. It's tuna. It's tuna. You're waiting too long. It's it it it, 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 it. Look at the dog is even getting upset with you. Okay, here we go. Are you mark is that go. Oh. Uh -huh. Tastes like tuna. I told Actually, you. It's got its that? own flavor. No. Actually, that is firmer. That is nice. That's firmer it's, than tuna. Uh -huh. It's very good. I love them. Well. Hmm. So now you can get yourself a piece of toast, maybe put some butter on it if you want to. You know, all that stuff. I can see leaving the oil in the pan, yeah. but man, instead of having a tuna salad sandwich, I think these would be great as a tuna uh, a sardine salad sandwich with mayonnaise and mustard right. okay. on bread. Okay. But I promised Harry, oh, you know what, you guys? I'm amazed. I am absolutely surprised. If you like tuna, I don't know about any of the other brands. Because if you look, this absolutely has no bones, no skin, no nothing on it. Right. It is firm. The piece I had was firm. And it tastes like tuna. Mama, I want some fish. I don't have any metallic taste in my mouth. It was not mushy at all. I'm very... I'm. We're going to do... We're gonna have to go buy more sardines. I, think <laughs> I told each, you. We each need a can. I'm yes, serious, you I'm guys. Serious. I am serious. Harry knows how weird I am about fish with eyeballs and feet and tails and skin and especially all that the, stuff. Especially the, the fish with feet. Harry, they have those fish. That's what you said. Oh, okay. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna make some toast out of my brand new bread. We're gonna butter it. And maybe I'll smear some mayonnaise on it too. But we're going to have, I think we should each have a can of sardines. And you guys will come back when we make our lunch. And it's going to be sardines on toast. Yes, indeed. Would you like to taste a piece of sardine? She wants some sardine, man. Give her some sardine. Okay, I'm going to give her a piece of sardine. Don't spit it out on my rug. What do you think? Yeah? What do you think? Can you eat that? What do you think? Sally wants to. <gasps> she likes it. Was that good? Did you like that? Are you gonna have sardines with us? Tell me if you liked it. What do you think? She's thinking. She's thinking. I think she's got a wag of approval. Yep. Yes, indeed. She got a waggy tail. Oh, she likes sardines. She's got a waggy tail. She says, yes, Mom, I do. Okay, we'll give you a little bit on your plate. Tell Papa. You want some? Ah, okay. okay. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some on my plate. It's going. Hey, you guys, look at this. I've got buttered toast, my can of sardines. I've got mayonnaise and French's mustard. Harry's got buttered toast. He wanted some of the kicked up horseradish mustard and some French mustard and some mayonnaise, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna share these beautiful lovelies because you guys, I am jazzed. I, I can't tell you how jazzed I am. Look at that, sardines, who would have thought? Wendy and sardines were not a match until now, you guys. But it's all, look at that, look. Oh, ooh, right there, there they are. There they are. Okay, yeah. you guys, now, that's what I'm gonna do. Because so many of you said mustard, mayonnaise, all the good stuff, so I'm taking a big old piece of this sardine. Take my sardine, I'm gonna put them on my bread going to put him look how nice and firm this meat is yeah it's very nice bread i'm going to put a little bit of mustard a little bit of mayonnaise on that right there and i am going to take a bite mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah now we can, they can get the exact same ones right off of Amazon if you don't have a Costco near you. Um, if you want to try the ones that They're Wendy little, is having. Are you going to get 12 or what was it? Under $30. I'll we'll leave a no, link. No, it wasn't even that one. Yeah. I'll leave a link. Oh my God, you guys. If you like tuna, please give these a try. 
Not all sardines are made alike. Yeah. It depends what they're packed in a lot to me. I I don't like them packed in uh, well, this was olive oil. water. I'm they're not more a fishy? real big because it's real fishy. With the olive oil, there is basically no no smell. Man. And another thing I like about these is they're not super salty. They're not like um, anchovies and super salty. But you right. guys. You can add salt if you want. But. This is a win-win. And you know what? Sally even loved them, so it's Sally approved. But I'm gonna we really have to go get more sardines because honest to goodness, we're gonna have one can a day and for each. 30 days, Harry and I. The exception would be Thanksgiving Day. Right. But we're gonna see if the sardines help our ketones and glucose. That's the only thing we're adding different. We're still doing our MCT oil in the morning, but I want to see if this works, you guys. But anyway, even if it does, this is heart healthy. This is omega-3s. This is the good stuff, you guys. So, gotta eat now. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Sally gets some. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a long video today, so and it is 2 p.m. and we are breaking our fast with our sardines and toast. Yep. But we will share tomorrow what we had in our second meal that we're gonna eat. And we will let you know tomorrow. But you guys, we're gonna go ahead and close this video out today because we gotta eat our sardine and Sally <laughs> would like some. She's, She's going. sneezing already. She's going. We've got some on her little plate just for her. So you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. But you guys, we gotta eat now. Yes, indeed. What's up, Sal? She wants a piece of sardine. Oh, Good stuff. Oh yeah, I'm surprised you like sardines. Oh yeah, she really does. Yeah. Say goodnight. <laughs>